What is going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly use a mythic item in order to get the most out of your build. Min maxing and optimizing your builds is so crucial in end game PVP because every little stat will either help you with damage, sustain, healing, or mitigation. Making builds is the first step in my opinion in becoming a good PVP player. Because you have to know the ins and outs of making builds, what makes them tick, but ultimately how to fit them to your own playstyle. Because most of the time on YouTube, build videos only get you so far and are optimized for your own preferences. This way you can take a concept from my build or someone else's and can make an entirely different spec with it. By doing this, you will not only improve your skill level as a player, but increase your knowledge and theory crafting to make your own builds just from a single skill or set. So I will go over the two best ways to utilize mythic items and explain in detail for both magic and stamina classes. But before we get started, if you guys are enjoying my content, don't forget to subscribe, it's free, and you never miss an upload. Also, if this video helps you anyway, don't forget to smash the like button. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so for the first setup here, this one, in my opinion, benefits magic classes more, and they will utilize this more than they will the other spec we're gonna talk about here in a little bit. Stamina builds can use, honestly, both. It just depends on your spec and your build and really what you're going for. But ultimately, you know, stamina classes use this, but magic classes, I think, will mainly use this aspect the most. So basically, what is this spec? So we're using a monster set. You know, pick any monster set you want. It could be Bloodspawn, Balor, uh, Falcon Scoria, engine guardian whatever monsters that you like here put it on your build you know this is the easiest way to spec this thing out run a monster set now we're going to be using a back bar set so zilla what is a back bar set basically a back bar set is any prop condition that you can carry over from your back bar to your front bar and gives you either damage mitigation recovery whatever it is and it just gives it to you and it actually transfers and goes to your front bar that is what a back bar set is there is a ton of back bar sets in the game. I think one of the most popular and widely utilized uh, is Clever Alchemist. This thing gives you 675 weapon and spell damage whenever you drink a potion. So you drink a potion on your back bar, and then for 20 seconds, you have 675 weapon and spell damage. Doesn't matter if you're on your back bar or your front bar, this buff carries over and gives you the damage on your front bar for burst potential or whatever you want to do there. Now, there is a ton of other back bar sets. I want to talk about a few here. There's sets like Iron Blood that give you a ton of mitigation. Seventh Legion that has more of a better uptime when compared to Clever Alchemist, but overall less damage. You have other sets like Olorim, which really benefit magic classes in my opinion, or even some stamina builds that actually could utilize this because this gives them major courage, giving them a ton of weapon and spell damage. You also have a new set coming out next patch in Wretch of Vitality, giving you a lot of sustain whenever you proc major and minor buffs, like, you know, using Rally, Race Against Time, uh, some armor buffs like Hurricane, Ice Fortress, and stuff like that. And then you also have other sets like Powerful Assault, which you can utilize on your back bar, you know, using a Assault skill like Vigor. That's mainly going to benefit stamina classes. But there's a lot more back bar sets in the game. I'm trying to give you guys a, a concept of how these sets work and really what consists of a back bar set so you can really look and see what these uh, sets do and then we are using a front bar set so front bar sets basically what this means is the damage that you're going to get from this you know it could be a proc set typically or it can just be a basic raw damage set that just scales up your damage higher there's a lot of options here again just like with back bar sets so for example you have sets like armor of the truth that give you weapon to spell damage whenever you're proc an enemy off balance you also have Kai Marcher's Cruelty, which is going to proc negative status effects. Uh, this is a new set coming out next patch. It's going to be very, very powerful. You also have sets like Burning Spell Weave that proc whenever you deal flame damage. You have sets like Moon Hunter that proc when you do poisons. Scathing Mage that procs off direct damage. So you obviously, your front bar is going to be your damage bar. So you're going to be wanting to deal damage, obviously, on your front bar. And if you had Scathing Mage in your back bar, it wouldn't make much sense, right? Because the buff only lasts for five seconds. So this would obviously make this a front bar set. You also have sets like War Maiden that give you base damage and sets like New Moon. You also have kind of proc like scaling sets like Titanborn Strength, which has a lot of potential, especially if you're going for a counter burst uh, whenever you get low health. This is obviously going to be a front bar set because it gives you penetration. That's just a few examples of really what consists of a front bar set. There's a lot of them very very powerful out there but the only downsides to this type of spec is you cannot utilize arena weapons like example like the base 2h uh, uh you can't use the new asylum dual wield buff you know this is the only really downside to this but you do get very powerful uptime you know obviously you're using a monster set and a mythic item uh the next i guess kind of sneaky aspect here you get to run a one piece trainee this gives you a little bit of extra health 
ultimately this will allow you to scale more into you know your your, your max stat whether that's magic or stamina and you can get a little bit more stats that way and then we're going to talk about the mythic item so there's a ton here you can use um there's a ton here you can use guys um you know you got the new belzeroth's band you got death dealer's feet malakath ring of majesty uh you can use torque you can use thrashy and stranglers if you wanted to the only mythic item you really can't utilize it's going to be gaze of sit this because you cannot use a monster set with the helmet in the way of using gaze of sit this so this will be a little bit of a different spec probably going to utilize this next spec we're going to talk about right here in a minute but that's you know the kind of the mythic items you can use if you wanted to use thrashy and stranglers all you would do would be replace your you know your front bar set uh with a ring and then change to like you know for example the thrashy and hands so you have to change the location of your clever alchemist bracers probably to your belt and then go the thrashy and stranglers on the hands uh, that would be how you'd run that and you'd run your um Karin's legacy all jewelry at that point if you were using this spec so if you guys are looking for other sets to use my best recommendation to go to like like the esosets.com and look at different sets out there that you can look at and really inspect and see if maybe you want to run it on your build because i did not cover all of them so ultimately i think this is a really strong spec as it gives you access to a monster set two five piece sets a mythic item and a one piece trainee giving you a load of stat ultimately this is one of the best ways to spec out your build all right so for the next spec and setup we have here this is actually kind of like two different aspects one's just a little bit different than the other but i'm going to go into that here in a minute Basically, what we're using here is we're using a one-piece monster set. You, you can use Balor here. You can use Magma. You can use Penetration. doesn't really make a difference, but it's just a one-piece monster set to give you a decent amount of stats. And then we're going to use a body set. So you, we know what front bar sets are. We know what back bar sets are. What is a body set? Well, a body set basically is a set that you cannot front bar or back bar. So, for example, we have Stygian here. If we were to front bar this set, we don't like the, the weapon damage and spell damage disappears on this spec. You also have other sets like Devlin's Assassin. You have some insane max magic sets like Necropotence. Uh, you have sets like Crafty Alfique. There's a ton of different basic body sets like Rattle Cage that just give you stats and you cannot front bar or back bar those to get the most utilization of that set. That's basically what a body set is. Now, do you have to run that on the body? No, you could definitely run that on the jewelry if you want to. This is just kind of like terminology uh, and aspects that, you know, I use uh, to, to explain things. But basically what that means is I'm using on the on the body five pieces. And whenever I bar swap to my front bar and back bar, I still have five pieces of this set. And then we're going to utilize a front bar set. So in this aspect here, we are using uh, Calvary's Legacy on the front bar. Now, you, you can run anything here. Uh, front bar sets we talked about those a little bit ago but basically just using a proc set here uh, you you can use new moon whatever basic raw damage that you want to but you know we're using calorians here and then we are using a one piece of our mythic item the wild hunt and then on our back bar we have a two piece of veteran 2h this is going to give us a proc set so basically how this works is we use like a five piece body set a front bar set one mythic one monster and a arena weapon basically this allows us to you know get this proc from invasion 2h this use in conjunction with rally gives us our stack whenever we uh, use a stamina ability so we can have a proc set in conjunction with our calorie inset using a mythic item now this is what i prefer on my stamina nightblade build right now it just feels so good man stamina builds i really feel can get away from using monster sets magic classes it's a little bit harder to get around it, but it definitely could be a really good option if that's your thing. So the alternate version to go about this is basically pretty much the same exact thing. We're using a one piece monster set, five piece body of Stygian, and then we're gonna be using you know a back bar set. So the first aspect we use Calrians, which is a front bar set. Now we're gonna be utilizing a set like Clever Alchemist, you know, like the back bar sets like Rest of Vitality, whatever back bar set we want to use here. Uh, in conjunction with a asylum or any type of arena weapon front bar so technically if you wanted to you could go like clever alchemist bow here and then do the evasion 2h at that point you're going to gain weapon and spell damage 
from the Clever Alchemist proc, and you, you can use Evasion 2H. But, you know, I'm going to be looking at this Asylum Dual Wield next patch. There's a lot of potential. Gives us a lot of speed. It's going to scale very well with Wild Hunt, giving us a lot of damage. So this allows us to use this proc set from our back bar, uh, like Clever Alchemist, Retro Vitality, whatever back bar set you want to use, like Data Trickery, whatever it is. Uh, in conjunction with an arena weapon on your front bar so evasion 2h is a good one you have the brp destro you know there's a lot of different good arena style weapons on your front bar i really think the asylum dual wheel is going to have a lot of potential next patch uh this is how i'm looking at running a few specs so for example like on my stamp sword i'm using uh, i'm looking at using something like devlin's assassin on the body uh with wretched vitality on the back bar using that ring of the bald hunt and then using this asylum dual wield uh with a one piece magma incarnate monster set so that's ultimately kind of how i look at my build and how i spec them out remember we have a good basic five piece body set with a back bar set or front bar set and then arena weapons whether you know whatever we really want to focus on whether that's evasion 2h for the proc or whether that's the asylum dual wield uh for the speed and the damage this is just how I make my builds, guys. You know, it's just making simple concepts using a set aspect on my build. Uh, I love Wild Hunt, so that's a staple on my specs. I, I love having, you know, speed or, or damage. It just really depends on, on my build, though. Uh, this is, you know, this is basically one-on-one -on -one how I make my builds. It's a very simple, very self-explanatory once you understand the concept. But that is all for this video, guys. I hope this helped you, you know, kind of formulate how to actually use Mythic Items effectively to get the most out of your stats and out of your build. But that's it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.